Hello, doodles and tea friends. Hello, appreciators of tea. We're back with another video. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how long have we been doing this? <laughs> Here is my cup of tea. What tea do you have today, my dear? Adam purchased this tea. Uh, it's a green tea. Because <laughs> he recently, for his birthday, got a haul from a place called Japan Center, isn't it? Yeah, they sell like lots of Asian snacks and foods and things. And... Yeah, and he was really nice to pick up some tea for me to try. For doodles and tea. By the way, I've got some frogs here that I've doodled. And I've got some dogs washing a car. I think yours is so adorable. Do you like mine? Yeah. <laughs> well, the plan for today is I want to quickly line it and, uh, Watercolour it, because I've been doing lots of that still. And my plan for today is one, I want to eat this cake to you celebrate brought, Adam's You brought birthday. cake? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I've also brought in these pens that I treated myself to. I wonder if you can... <laughs> They're upside out. down. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, Beautiful. Nice. They're like watercolour brush pens. They're the zinc ones, aren't they? Yeah, they're called Zig Clean Colour ones. Ooh. You got a few in the past and I used to like using them, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna trick myself to a massive box of Yeah, them. that's like a huge is that like a full pack or because there's I so many. I think it might be the full set of them. Really? Oh that's awesome. But it, it can be a nightmare trying to decide which colour's which to because there's so many, but first world problems. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I just have so many colours. And I can't remember what colour I was gonna do these frogs, but eh, I'll just Mix something or ever up. As as of recording this video right now, guys, we don't actually know what your reaction was to the six foot pencil video that we did, so. Oh yeah, that's true. I genuinely hope that you did enjoy it. Because <laughs> it was a lot of fun for us to make, so we hope you enjoyed it <laughs> Although too. we didn't have the wind on our side that day. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of windy. If you can look past the wind, you would have our eternal thanks. Do you have any tissue? No, I don't. I will be back in a moment with tissue. We have not it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we're, we're both watercolouring. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Can you manage it, right? Yeah, I'm trying to not like, kick over all the lights. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we have like wires everywhere. Yep. My inspiration for this doodle is I love poachers and old cars. So. <laughs> And car washes. <laughs> and old car washes. Too. I used to love going to the car wash when I was a kid. Do you remember the song? The car wash song. The car wash. Yeah, there you go. There we go. I'm kind of speeding through because I want to watercolour it. Inkin's becoming one of those things that I think's boring again. And I'm <gasps> oh like, no! watercolouring is where it's at. I want to do that. Oh wow, I never thought I'd see the time where you were excited about the painting part. Hmm. Well, we've even started doing it in uh, the live streams that we do too. We tend to live stream on uh, the weekend. So if you guys want to catch us in real time, uh, keep an eye out over the weekends, that's when we tend to do it, and we might be able to chat together, which is always really fun. Although we did more of like a surprise one recently with Adam's birthday. Oh, for the birthday, birthday yeah. 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 But that uh, that doesn't happen very often, though. <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of an interesting topic to bring up. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what interesting topic have you thought of? Well, a cool fact about us. I always say cool fact, it's not really that cool. <laughs> Is this really going to be a cool <laughs> fact about us? That we're self-employed artists. Okay, yeah. And we commonly get asked in the comment section about what it's like to be self-employed or what are the good parts, what are the bad parts. I was just interested in some of your opinions on that. Um, it's fun, yeah. Obviously, you have to file your own taxes, which yeah, if that you're part's in... not the fun part. <laughs> now I do get if you are in America and uh, Canada and places, you tend to do that anyway. Uh, but in England, yeah, yeah. But in England, if you're self-employed, you have to do them. Whereas if you're in full-time employment, I think the employer actually deals with it for you. So our camera battery conveniently just died on us. <laughs> that always, it, that always happens in doodles and tea <laughs> all the time. And my cake mysteriously vanished during those two clips. <laughs> oh, the jump cut would have been perfect if you hadn't <laughs> eaten your cake. They would never have known. Oh, you're sipping your tea. Let me know what you think of that one. It's really tea flavoured. Okay, I've decided I'm going to play with my brush pen for a bit now. Now, before the, um, the camera conveniently died, you were talking about being self-employed. So what's your oh, opinion? Oh, yeah, I'm glad that you're... Your brain could remember that, because my brain was like... <laughs> so what What are your thoughts and opinions on it then, Anne? 
I think it's different to what I imagined it would be like. Really? Why? I think growing up, all I knew is that I wanted to do art. I didn't... <laughs> Sorry. It's making me think of that advert where it goes, do you want to draw a piece of art? <laughs> Guys, comment down below if you've seen that advert on YouTube where it's like, Hi, do you want to learn how to draw amazing art? And he sounds like a, he sounds like a seal going, oh, oh. Growing up, I always knew that I wanted to work in art somehow, but I just had no idea how I was going to accomplish that or if it was oh. even possible. Especially because the town that I grew up in, art just wasn't really like a thing that was taken seriously. No, oh, that's that's a shit. It's the same as like where where I grew up, like. Yeah, I think it's common because like across England there's a lot of like small towns and you tend to find like art industries are in most of like built up. The big city cities. London, you know, places like that. It's where in all the jobs LA are. LA especially, there's like lots of Yes, yeah. Over there. Well that's like the big hub, like for these things. So I just had absolutely no idea if it would be possible to work in art whatsoever, never mind oh. any kind of like specific path. Because I didn't even know like what storyboard design was. I didn't know the difference between like an illustrator or like an animator. Oh no! I, I was just clueless to everything. So I feel like since I left university, it's not painful that it was after leaving university that I started <laughs> to discover what the art industry actually was. And I started to learn about all the different jobs and stuff. I worked in uh, graphic design for a while and mm -hmm. flash games. And those were fun, but the thing that I didn't enjoy about those is that it was always on someone else's like terms with the briefs that I was working on. Oh, so you didn't like taking orders from someone else? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> not very good at listening to well, other people. Not necessarily that, it was just more so I missed the creative freedom that personal art had. Because all my life I didn't realise that the thing that I actually really enjoyed was just doing silly doodles for myself. Which is kind of what we do right now. Yeah, so. exactly. So that's the element of being self-employed that I ended up liking the most. It's just having a bit more control over what it is that I want to draw. Yeah, like what you make and what you can do and that's cool. Yeah, because some of the feedback that I'd had from like art directors and stuff that I'd worked with in the past was to try and make like the art style more like commercial and to... And what what was popular of the time as well. That, yeah, that yeah, and you'd be shown like examples of what's currently selling and it's kind of your job to then... Like replicate it, yeah, really. To, like, like, draw like this. But there are um, some people that really love having that kind of like a brief and someone's like pushing them around oh, yeah, to yeah. do things. That's certain, I'm certainly not saying I'm certainly not saying it's the wrong way, but for us, we definitely like to just be given our own freedom to uh, do whatever. Yeah, that's definitely the benefit. But and like you were saying, taxes are definitely one of the worst parts <laughs> of being self-employed. I remember being like close to tears when I first had to start doing this. Oh no! Because <laughs> it was just so hard to figure out. Like they do not make it easy whatsoever to learn how to do that kind of stuff. They don't teach it in schools here. No, we like, weren't taught anything about it. But we we were very lucky, and now we do at least know what like, we're doing. If there's any of you guys who ever end up in that situation, the best advice I can honestly give you is try and find like an accountant in your local area. Yes, absolutely. And whatever they're saying it's going to cost, just throw the money at them because it will be worth it in the emotional weight it will take and off your shoulders. The amount of time that you will save is <laughs> just incredible. I'm a raisin, maple juice. What, you mean the line art? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like the entire picture. No, 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 no. This is pooch car wash. You can't just erase the pooch. Who's going to wash your car? It's fun, like, with doodles and tea. I've noticed that I tend to experiment a bit more in it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to watercolour now. My water brush is filthy. Another thing as well is that I think it's very easy, like, when you're not in, like, an art job, and if, especially if you're working in a job that you don't like mm -hmm. it's easy to then look at an art job and see it as like happily ever after oh like it's your your like dream yeah because kind of like my entire life i always thought if i can just become a way to make like an artist as a living that will be happily ever after for me and then as some of you might know, like pretty quickly into us becoming self-employed, my dad suddenly passed away and there was like, yeah, and there was like no signs whoa. that that was going to happen. 
and that was a really big shock and I don't know I, I just didn't see that coming but who does well that's it yeah no no one because it was so sudden no one really could see it yeah and I think since then I'm now just sort of like rediscovering what life is for me especially as like an yeah, artist well that's fine yeah but it's funny because like if you'd asked me about this in the past I would have been like no, once I become like a full-time artist, that's it, happily ever after. <laughs> My problems are solved. Yeah, exactly. But that's just one of those situations where it was completely out of my control. Being an artist didn't solve anything. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been nice if I could have drawn my way out of the situation. I'm just mixing over here. You can't see when it's mixing over there. I almost feel like as well that it felt like such an unrealistic goal to actually be a full-time artist that oh, really? I never actually sat around and thought about what I'd do when I achieved it. Oh no! Yeah, seriously, I just, I didn't really know anyone else who had and it's kind of hard to imagine. Well, I certainly didn't know anyone else because it was you that introduced me like to art and stuff really. So I feel like uh, lately I'm just sort of trying to like Learn to just enjoy it and not like constantly panic that something's gonna go dreadfully wrong. Yeah, yeah. Just breathe and enjoy the process. Yeah, because it's easy that once you've achieved something, you then feel like every day you're fighting to sort of stay in that position. Yeah, yeah. And that it could be like ripped away at any moment. And you're living in fear then, and that, that's not living. But that's always like one of my main focuses as well when we do these is that. I just want to try and enjoy myself because even if this wasn't something that we were doing as like a job, mm. I want it to be something that we can just still look back on one day and watch. Well, that goes back to how, what we've said in the past in the, that's how Doodle Date started. Yeah, exactly. It yeah. was just us trying to make some little art memories together. And then you guys all came along for the ride and now we're like a huge art friend family and it, it's, it's incredible. Ironically, there was one job that I had in the past that I think I'll always look back on fondly. Where did and I feel like if that job had worked out, I don't know if I would have ever have moved here. I don't know if I would have <gasps> ever have became like an artist. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, there's so many like variables. What job was that? It was when I was working as a temp receptionist in London. Okay. Uh, there was this one office that used to always specifically request me all the time. Oh, that, that's really sweet. And I just got so familiar with the job. Everyone on there was like so lovely. Oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> that sounds awesome. The majority of my job was just um, pushing a button to let people through a door. <laughs> there was a guy there who was like an ICT technician or something and he was constantly having to run backwards and forwards to fix computers for people. Hmm. And because of that, I was constantly having to like let him in and out of the building. And he felt guilty, even though that was literally like my only job was to just sit there and open this door for him. So he used to buy me chocolate buttons when I was working. Oh, no. no, no, that's very sweet. <laughs> yeah. I think sometimes the people that you work with can just make even the dullest of jobs just really fun. Have you ever had any fun dull, uh, fun dull jobs? Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Every job I've ever had was terrible. <laughs> but that's my own fault. I'm not. You know, I'm not very educated. I've never known what I wanted to do with my life until this. Like, this feels like Aww. what I'm supposed to do. But um, before, obviously, YouTube and things. Oh, wow, wow, where do I even start? Um, I, like, Steph knows I've did, like, I've done a million different jobs. Yeah, I had as well. I've worked in offices, I've worked in warehouses, I've worked in sales jobs. I've done, you name it, I've probably done it. <laughs> And it never really felt right. But doing this, like having fun and learning tech, like art techniques and stuff, and then you guys comment saying that we've helped you and things with, you know, various different art stuff, that feels very fulfilling to me. And that's what makes it feel so right, I think, like being able to help people whilst also developing and enjoying a hobby. It's like a win-win kind of thing for me, so. Yeah, I think trying to find what you want to do with your life it isn't necessarily, I used to think like the aim of life was to sort of turn whatever your favourite hobby is into your career. Into, yeah, yeah. And now I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think it's just about feeling fulfilled in what you do. And that could be in so many different things. Even if it's just pushing a button to let an IT <laughs> guy through the door. To let the buttons man in. <laughs>
I felt very fulfilled when I earned those chocolate buttons. <laughs> I also felt very full when I ate the chocolate buttons. <laughs> and I used to answer the telephone as well. It didn't ring that often, but when it did, I had a mouthful of chocolate <laughs> buttons. <laughs> How may I help you? I'm just gonna go fill my water brush. I also have a special place in my heart for every office that gave out free cakes on Fridays. And I've still got pictures on like way, 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 bit, way, way back on my Instagram of like some of the places that were giving out free cakes on Fridays. Okay. So you just liked working in offices that fed you basically. Is that what you're There's trying to say? There's something really fulfilling about that. And I remember when you were working in your last job, you used to text me really excited when they'd ordered pizza in. Yeah, that was nice. That was a good thing. <laughs> Having pizza was always fun. Who doesn't like pizza? Well, some people like pizza, but for me, nope, nope. Every pizza's a good pizza to me. You think you'd eat a pizza with anything on it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I think there's a challenge video on that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well that's, that comes with like, being on YouTube for a while with you. I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you wish for on this channel. <laughs> hey, where else are you gonna get six foot pencil videos though? You know, you guys are safe with us. Do you think you'd still be a YouTuber if we couldn't have an art channel and it had to be a different kind of channel? A different- oh my- what kind of channel? It can be anything but an art channel. I- I, pff, I don't know. Like, what- what would- um, <laughs> what would you- that's a- that's a big question. Huh? Um, <laughs> what would you pick? Um... That's the thing, I don't know if I would do it otherwise. Like, when I used to watch YouTube, I used to think I'd want to be a vlogger because I'd really like watching vlog kind of content. Yeah. But the thing that I've discovered about myself is that I really like just being lazy around the house and doodling for myself and... That is really fun. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important that everyone has, like, their own downtime where... You can just zone out and do whatever. Yeah, even in, like, traditional work and stuff. Unless you're in like a really, really bad job that's probably like illegal or something, you'd normally get like at least a day off a week to to do unwind. you. Yeah. Mm. So I think as long as I've just always got a bit of time to myself to pursue silly little doodles and things. Yeah, I'm yeah. Good. That's why I count myself very lucky with the help that you gave me when uh, we made and finished the first chapter of Una together. Oh, yeah, because that's been a recent thing that's gone on. Uh huh. I was very lucky. Without your help, it would have taken forever. That's why I consider myself very lucky. I just remembered as well that once upon a time, you kind of set up a gaming channel. Yeah, and I did it for this. It was like, was this before even we were even together? Or was it right at the very start I of our honestly, relationship? I can't remember if it was at the start of our relationship or before. Or before it, but yeah. I tried it for a week and thought, this is hard, so I stopped. <laughs> No, um, I mean, in all fairness, like, well, mind you, our computers struggle even now, but back then, there's no way the computer that I had could handle, like, rendering videos and yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a whole different hurdle in itself with, like, computer stuff. If you've seen our live streams, you'll see that our computers still struggle to handle <laughs> They, like, restart stuff that and stuff, it's, like, so embarrassing. <laughs> Well, thanks for sticking by us when Yeah, that we happens. appreciate it, yeah. I tried to like frantically restart the computer as <laughs> fast as I can. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people who live stream saying that that happens to them. You know, when you start doing something, you immediately regret how much effort it's gonna be. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not the kind of, that's not <laughs> the kind of message we want to promote in Dodos and Tea. Never try. <laughs> right, I'm sure it'll look good when it's done. <laughs> Is that the motto of Doodles and Tea? Oh, I'm sure I'll look fine when it's finished. You know that feeling when, like, you're drawing something really detailed and you've decided that you're gonna put, like, a million lines in it to show, like, the grass or oh, the yeah. hair or something? And it's you, gonna look so real. Yeah, and you put three in and you're like, yeah, this looks great. And then you're on to, like, the fourth one, you're like, I'm already done with this. It's terrible! <laughs> I'm gonna die before I finish yeah. this. <laughs> Oh yours is looking so cute. Do you like me? Do you like it? Yeah. I surprised. You didn't see it obviously on camera, but I surprised Steph with this one. She was like, oh, do you have any ideas what you're gonna draw? And I showed her the pencil sketch and she nearly had a breakdown. It was just so cute. <laughs> She's like, oh no. We should do an episode one day where you join in and draw frogs with me. Frogs? Ugh, slimy frog. Well, Your arms know. smell like sausage rolls. I don't want my arms to smell like sausage rolls. Your arms smell like sausage rolls. <laughs> you always tell me that I smell like strange things. You smell amazing. You smell like a bakery. <laughs> I like it when I just let the sit and just let whatever happens just happens. 
you know when like last minute your head's like oh I wonder if I should do this thing that I totally did not plan to do and then you're like yeah do it do it do it do it I'm so spontaneous <laughs> I think my art's the only place where I do get spontaneous <laughs> oh I'm gonna color in that speech bubble and it's gonna set frog friends you having a hard time there is your water brush empty uh, almost <laughs> it, looks, it looks so dry he's like hey. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just desperately trying to get oh a bit of water out of this. <laughs> There's like so many water brushes here. I wonder if I can do it. Just have the last bit of this. Oh, that looks the same colour as the green of my frog, but that's a yellow. That's Maybe it's one of his poops. That's not a poop. A yellow poop. See, go go see a doctor if you do a yellow <laughs> poop, guys. Oh, that's really cute. I really like that. Oh, I'm gonna do a new artsy technique. Watch this. That's new? Oh, one more spontaneous. Oh my god, the spontaneity is off the charts. I think I've run out of water. That's normally a sign you should stop water <laughs> colouring when you run out of water. Oh no, no, it's still going. Yeah. A little blue drop. Isn't that cute? Give me a big ol' thumbs up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We watercolored without water. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, doodles we've done for this episode of Doodles and Tate. I'm going to post a mystery video somewhere on screen here now. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle date. Doodle date! Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.